If you go to the fade menu again, you will see at the bottom there are two settings. Get global crossfade and set global crossfade. To set the global crossfade, do the following. Choose the fade offset you want to use. I'm going to use fade symmetrical. Then from the left and right menus, choose the type of fade curve you want to use. I'm going to select exponential. You can use the faders to customize the crossfade, of course. Once you're happy with your preset, go to the menus and select set global crossfade. Now, whenever you split an object and pull the fade handle, the fade will be set to symmetrical exponential. If you want to globalize the crossfade width as well, pull the right crossfade handle to the desired amount. Then choose set global crossfade again, and this setting will be added to the global setting. Now, when I split an object, this setting is used as the default. If you make some changes to the crossfade and decide you want to revert back to that global setting, all you need to do is go to the menu and select Get Global Crossfade. This will restore your changes back to the global crossfade setting. So consider the phrase Get Global Crossfade the same as Restore or Retrieve.